the girl's name is Winnie, got dumped by her boyfriend after she got pregnant. For the sake of the baby, the family found a replacement for Winnie in the countryside. Winnie set off on a train, rubbing her bumpy belly. Last month Winnie was a senior in college, now she's married in the countryside for her baby. Across a large farmland, Winnie arrived at the receiver's house. His name was Ray. Simply honest, he was so nervous to see Winnie Ray. His hands were trembling as he poured water. The first time we met. We asked each other a few questions, Rue couldn't imagine, how could anyone let such a nice girl down? A few days later they had a simple wedding, no banquet, no rings, Ray and Winnie returned home, then Ray said welcome home princess, Rue treated Winnie like family, but Winnie was still thinking about her boyfriend, that day Winnie called her family, asking where her boyfriend was, but the answer was that she hadn't heard from him, in the evening at dinner, Winnie asked Rhea a question, why did you choose me? Swee said it was probably fate, Ri was quiet and sincere, he was the opposite of his smooth-talking boyfriend. The next day Winnie slept until noon, but Ri got up early to work. In the afternoon, he took Winnie to the library, he bought a few books on pregnancy, then they went to church. After everyone had prayed, the neighbors knew that Ray was married, his wife was very beautiful, they greeted her with enthusiasm, Winnie looked a bit embarrassed. While everyone was talking, Winnie sends a letter in secret, it was addressed to her boyfriend, even though she knew the baby wasn't her own, Rue doesn't have any dislike for Winnie, Winnie learns how to cook, but it didn't taste as good as it should, every time Ray says it's good, and then he turns around and drinks a big glass of water, Winnie is slowly getting used to life here, this receiver's husband is very good to her. Ray knows that Winnie likes to swim. He's gone to great lengths to build a pool at home. Winnie didn't know how to thank Ree. She chose to continue to learn how to cook and be a good wife and mother. She hopes that one day Ree will like the food she cooks. By chance, Winnie met two girls, Daisy and Bella. The three became fast friends. They tell each other about their college experiences. Winnie said she was majoring in archaeology, hoping to go to a place called Troy. Daisy also shares her secret. He had fallen in love with a prisoner of war, but it's hard for them to see each other. Winnie can only comfort Daisy. When it's time for dinner, Ray and his family talk about Troy, but the language stutters, like he'd just memorized it. But Winnie was quick to help him get over it. On the way home, Ray had a smile on his face, he thought they were getting somewhere, Ray tried to give Winnie a goodnight kiss, but Winnie avoided it, the next day Winnie went out and found a bomb shelter, inside she found a lot of valley, Winnie was so excited to share it with Ray, Ray looked at Winnie with love on his face, but Ray thought it was just a pile of rubbish, then he burned the contents of the shelter, and Winnie's first tantrum began, he asked Ray how he could burn all that stuff, he felt something was wrong, and put the fire out, some of the grain was saved, Ray didn't know how to express his apology, he left a note, all the grain in the shelter is yours, but because careful when you go in. Winnie wiped all the grain clean. Rue was there to help. The relationship between the two of them is slowly growing. I thought it would go on happily ever after. But then a letter arrives. It almost ruined their lives. A mild-tempered husband loses his temper with his wife because of a letter from his wife's former lover. A letter sent back to her. Ray chases the dog away in a rage. Then he took out the letter which was addressed to Winnie by her old lover. The letter said she was very happy. Winnie had found a father for her baby. She had never felt the baby was her own, and she didn't want to be responsible for it. Thank you for still thinking of me. It's clear that they're happy now. Rue is trying to be good to Winnie, but why do they still miss a scumbag? The next day, Winnie made a nice breakfast for Ree. Sia was still sulking but his voice was still gentle. Winnie felt so guilty. If she had left, maybe Ree wouldn't be in pain anymore, and he couldn't let Winnie go, he took Winnie's face and kissed her, then he turned around and left, I don't think I'm good enough for you, he said, I've tried so hard to be good to you, I just want you to be loved better, Winnie's heart was confused after hearing that, it was Thanksgiving day, not long before Winnie left, he thanked Ray's family at the dinner table, and Ray listened with his head down, and didn't say a word, when he got home, he finally said, I love you. He took out the ring and hoped Winnie would stay. That's when Daisy found Winnie. Daisy wanted Winnie to help her. She wants to help her boyfriend get out. Winnie tells the man to change into clean clothes. Then she drove off in her car. And Winnie's baby is about to be born. Burn the man's clothes to keep the pain at bay. Through the necklace her ex-boyfriend had given her. She throws it into the fire. That's when Ray arrives at the house. The two of them embraced each other. Together they welcome the baby. The story of the film ends happily. Winnie doesn't leave. She chooses to be with Ray for the rest of her life.